My husband, um, a highly educated professional, was secretly addicted to porn for a decade. I didn't know what was causing the loss of intimacy, the anger, the paranoia and the misogyny, but I knew that something was deeply wrong. One day I found out and it made sense. All the times he had locked himself away or pretended he needed to be alone, all the fury that he had directed at me and our small daughter whenever we'd come close to finding out. It had disfigured him and made him a liar and a bully, a contemptuous and aggressive brute. Although we are still together and he has had therapy and is recovered, trust was destroyed and I don't think it will ever be the same. When I was younger, late teens, early 20s, my partner and I had rough sex a lot. It usually involved him choking me or slapping me, and at times forced anal sex was involved. I remember crying so much during and after, as well as feeling disgusting. We've had a long-lasting relationship, and he loved me and cared for me in every other way except for when we had sex. I've seen that the more I watch, the more extreme the content has gotten. The stuff in the past, just like pictures, don't do it for me. It's not as arousing as videos and such. I've lost time developing relationships and connections with friends and loved ones. It's caused me to feel apathetic and sluggish, unmotivated and perverted. It caused me to feel a disconnect in life. It seems the porn industry loves to gaslight us, to believe porn isn't a problem, when it is. When I was growing up, 16 to 18 years old, it was found out that boys in our area had created a private Facebook group, literally with hundreds of boys in it, sharing intimate images of their girlfriends or girls in the area, all without their knowledge or consent. Many of these girls were underage, it was like they were swapping collectible cards or something and used as a bonding experience between them at our expense. It was like they didn't even view us as human. A lot of the girls who were exposed never fully recovered. They either moved away or became much quieter, smaller versions of themselves. I am a victim of non-consensual pornography. I now have PTSD and depression. I was suicidal. It ruined my life. Pornhub is the cause of my ongoing exploitation and will not remove the content. Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, Facebook and all of the other platforms have also played a role in my exploitation and refuse to remove the naked images, fake profiles, etc. associated with my abuse and bullying by my abuser and other predators. It may seem like an exaggeration, but I couldn't stop. I tried to, I found it impossible. The trigger of seeing any pornographic image would send me into an obsessive, secretive, out of control viewing again. It was often not about sexual relief, it was just a numbing and futile experience. When I was 14, my father was arrested for watching child pornography. Social services told me that based on his online activity, which included teen incest fantasies, I was at risk. Social services had also told me that the girls in the images looked like me. And now, whenever I meet a woman who looks like me, I am reminded of his collection and can't help but wonder if she was abused and part of it. I wonder if those girls are alive today and where they are. I used to have a lot of casual sex and one night stands. I can't anymore though. As mainstream porn gets more violent and men get more violent, I can't go to bed with a man without him strangling me, without even asking, is that sex? I don't know how to tell people that it didn't used to be like this.